let's face it, change is inevitable. Change can also be a very good thing, but at the same time, realistically, change is a very frightening thing to think about, whether it's short-term things that are happening within the week, the next few months, the next year, or long-term things that will happen within the next few decades. Change is something that we all have to think about and that we all have thought about at some point in our lives, whether it be on a daily basis or on a yearly basis. Change is something that we have all come to accept at some point or another. We will come to accept it, so I think it's important to talk about it. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the thoughts that I've had about change as we have entered the new year of 2016. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately on humans and the evolution of change and how humans have changed really over the past few centuries and over the past few decades and over the past few years. We have changed the way that we looked at very different ideas. We have changed the way that we look at women portrayed in the media. We have changed the way that we look at men portrayed in the media. We changed the way that we look at ourselves on a daily basis. I feel like, especially in 2015, we spent a lot of time focusing more on ourselves and more on the people that are surrounding us, which I think is a very good thing that has happened because it has given us some time to really understand what's going on around us and also just given us more time to focus on what's most important, which is essentially ourselves. I kept thinking about my own future. I kept thinking about what will happen and how many things will change in my life within the next few months alone. I was thinking about it and I figured, hey, it's January. It'll be the middle of January soon, and then it'll be February, and then it'll be March and April, and by then I will know which university I'm going to be spending my next four years of life in, and where I will be getting my education, and where I'll be meeting all my new friends that hopefully I'll be staying in touch with for the rest of my life. And that alone scares me to death. Honestly, I'm pretty content with the way my life is right now. I'm content with my home, with my family, with my friend group, in the high school that I'm in, which if you asked me a few years ago, I would have said I'm not that content with, but as of right now, I am perfectly content. There's no other way to describe it than the way I am right now, which is completely happy and satisfied. But granted, if you ask me in the next few years, in the future, when change will have happened, I will probably be telling you that college is the best thing that's ever happened to me, as every person that has gone through college has usually have said. In a few months, I'll have heard back from all the colleges I applied to. In a few months, I will know which college I'm going to. One month, I will be in Disney World with my marching band playing. And in a few months, I will be at prom. And in a few months, I'll have graduated high school, which is crazy to think about because it's always been an idea that I've always accepted and have always thought of, but I never really thought of as occurring now and in the present and something that will happen very soon. In a year, I'll be in university making new friends, adjusting to a totally new lifestyle. I'll be in a completely different city and I'll be adjusting, just completely adjusting to everything that has happened within a year. Within maybe five years, hopefully I'll have finished undergraduate school, hopefully I'll be in graduate school, I'll be in some crazy good internship that hopefully I'll be able to get myself in. And then maybe in 10 years, I'll be focusing on living a great life in my mid-20s with great friends and great peers and hopefully finding the perfect job for me and living a happy life, maybe in love, who even knows? But what I do know is that it's up to me to decide if I want to look forward to these moments or if I want to dwell in the present and solely soak in the present or if I want to dwell in the past and just completely look back at all my memories regardless if they were good or not. And it's funny how many things are in our control and how many things that are out of control. Right now, I just became a student ambassador of this organization called Save the Children, which is great by the way. Right now, I'm president of a few clubs. Right now, I have an awesome friend group with the best girlfriends I could have ever wanted to have in my life. And I'm really happy with everything at home, with my family, with friends, with relatives. I am just so content with everything. And it's hard for me to imagine change within the next few months and within the next few years and within the next few decades. Hopefully, I'll be living a stable, life. Hopefully I will be my own individual. Hopefully I'll be well respected among my peers and everyone else that surrounds me. Hopefully maybe I will be married. Who knows? Maybe I'll have my own home. Hopefully, hopefully that happens. And I'll have graduated from grad school. I'll be having a very stable, successful job that I'm in love with. I have all these things to look forward to in my life and all of these things that will happen very quickly within the blink of an eye or 
a blink of two eyes really, and I just don't know what to feel about it. But in the end, I do know that change is coming, and it is up to me, it is up to everyone around us to determine how we will look at change. You can sit around and mope about it, or you can plan to do something with it. You can plan as of right now what to do with your life if you are unhappy with it. You can plan right now to lead a very successful life. I think it's important to consider that a lot of things will happen in a year, in two years, in three years, in 10 years, in 50 years. And it's up to us to choose how we like to look at things and how we decide to treat people as we go along. And it's important to not only look out for ourselves, but the people that surround us. Because yes, your life is incredibly important, don't get me wrong, it is. But it's also important to look out for those around you. So if you see that someone else's life isn't going the way that they really plan to, it's up to you to make sure to com comfort that person and assure them that everything will be all right. Whether you are certain of it or not, it's important for you to reach out and make sure that you, along with everyone else, is going in the right direction. If you guys enjoyed this video, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys for a second about some of the things I've been thinking about, especially as the new year has approached us. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on all social media. I will link everything down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I love you guys. Bye, everyone.